Work has started for a while now. I've designed the chapel as zen, rustic, and timeless, just the way Rimache would have liked it. As people walk into the chapel, I would like them to feel a sense of awe and reverence, and receive blessings from Rimache's great line of incarnation. The chapel is designed in the shape of a horseshoe, This is to maximize the usage of the land there and to also accommodate for future incarnations. I have given a lot of thought to the choice of materials that I use for this chapel. And there are two things that came to my mind, that is the durability. It has to last for generations so that Rimish's future incarnation can use this chapel as well. And number two, it is to withstand the Malaysian weather. So for the roof, what I've chosen is an aluminium roof so that it will prevent any rust. And for the walls, I'm using a local Malaysian stone that is readily available. And for the flooring, I'm using very high quality tiles instead of marble or granite because marble and granite are very difficult to maintain. So this would do a much better job. Behind me is where the relic stupa will be situated. This is exactly the place where Rimuche's Paranirvana ceremony was performed. This entire place will be landscaped and there will be a stone walkway for people to make circumambulations and also stone platforms to do prostration. There's also going to be two grottos for candle offerings. Let's take a look inside. Ahead of me, this platform here, we will have the Tukutraba Gelson Stupa. It's 15 feet high. And on my right, we will have Tem Rumuche's statue. And on my left here, we will have Tukudraba Gelsen statue. On the right and left side of the Tukudraba Gelsen stupa, we will have two reliquaries. On this side, we will have Tam Rimuchi's relics, and on this side, we'll have Tukudraba Gelsen's relics. And if you can see on both sides of the corridor, here and here, we will have all of Rimuchi's 24 incarnation statues. The Incarnation Chapel is 70% complete. The outstanding work that we have is the insulation of the veranda at both entrances and also the windows. There is an opening at the roof so that when the Tukudraba Gelsen Stupa arrives, we can crane it down layer by layer. And a quick update on what's the current status of the uh, construction. If you see here below, we're in the midst of uh, tiling the floor. Okay, and if you look at the ceiling up here, we have cut some holes. This is to make way for for the track lights. And for the platform of the stupa and the two large statues, I've yet to choose the material. So here we have the Wall of Merits. This is where we would like to acknowledge and appreciate all our sponsors for their generosity. And also, when others come, we would like them to rejoice and dedicate the merits to them. The Incarnation Chapel and the Outdoor Stupa, hopefully, will finish by August 2021. 
If you would like to contribute to the Temple of Great Merit, do contact us.